Uh, hey guys. Um. Uh, so today I'm gonna talk about Star Wars Visions, the uh, Star Wars anime uh, that was recently made. Uh, honestly, like a lot of people thought. Uh, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about what I thought of it at first. Right. A lot of people thought it was gonna be something of normal Star Wars scenes remade, it, imagined it, like reimagined in the um, anime style or whatever. <clears throat> They made something like that. It's called, like, Legacies. I can't remember what it's called. I'll probably put a picture of it here or something. Ah, I can't remember what it's called. There's a video of it and stuff. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, anyways. Uh, Visions. I thought it was really good. Uh, well, I don't know about really. Okay, so, yeah. I, I don't really watch anime that much. Uh, I watched Pokemon when I was younger. You know, I really like that. Uh, I don't know, but I've never been a big anime guy. I also watched Boondocks, or Bundocks, um, and, uh, but yeah, those are the only two animes before this I watched, and then, yeah, then I watched this, uh, so I'm not a big anime guy, but, you know, I, I admire, and I appreciate good anime when I see them, but I also don't watch anime a lot, so I don't think they're all bad or anything, but, um, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of something that was new to me. Uh, I thought it was really funny. I mean, no, not really it's funny. I was thinking of something else. I thought it was really good. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, but I thought it was kind of weird, but I guess I found it weird because I'm not used to anime that much. Uh, I, I liked the first few episodes. They were really good. Uh, oh, by the way, I watched it in, you know, English, not Japanese. I mean, it might have been better in Japanese. I don't know. I, I think it might have been the same people acting as voice, like, voice acting, because I think those people were bilingual, who did those, some of, they did the American and Japanese, I mean, English and Japanese version of it, or whatever. I, I that's what I thought, maybe, but I don't, I, I ain't checked this, this isn't, like, facts. But, anyway, um, so, I think that, uh, I really like the first few episodes, I found some of the episodes kind of, you know, blandish, boring. My favorite two, I think, were the uh, episode about those twins. That was really enjoyable. And I really liked the episode about the, uh, the, um, the two Jedi. And I think it was Old Republic times. And they meet that guy who used to be a Sith. Now he's not, uh, um... And I just really liked it. Uh, that one was, I think, was by far my favorite. The last two episodes were kind of weird. You know, a little odd. Um, I, there was one episode that I kind of had a problem with. It, I mean, obviously, I know it's not canon. I'm going to go elaborate more on that in a few minutes. But uh, uh, the fact that there was one where a droid took kind of an Inquisitor. I know the Inquisitor's awake, but come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can you imagine 3PO take, putting, getting a lightsaber and taking on Inquisitor? I mean, I, I get what you're saying, obviously, but come on, man. Alright, but right, now about these not being canon. I know some people are going to say, oh yeah, I consider them my canon or whatever. And I have that kind of mindset too, but I don't consider these canon. Except for the Old Republic episode, because I really like that one. But yeah, a lot of these would not make sense at all in canon. Like, the Twins episode, that one of my favorite episodes in the series. That would not make sense. During the Empire, there was literally no way there was two Force users that damn powerful. Two of the most powerful, probably, the, I don't know if they were powerful in Yoda or Sidious, but probably two of the most powerful Force users ever and alive at that time. And it was never mentioned in any show or movie or anything. You know, um, I think... Maybe I'll do verses with a few of those characters. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I thought, and uh, even in my favorite episode, you know how that old uh, dude disintegrates in um seventh episode, the one you know with the uh, when they're fighting the older, the former Sith, like the former Sith, he disintegrates after, and, like my, like he does what you know, kind of similar to what a Jedi would do. By dark side version, of that? I don't know really what happened. That's obviously once again one of those, those things. Obviously, not supposed to be canon. It makes sense, and I think it's good that it wasn't canon, because if it was canon, then they'd have to limit themselves 
and what they could do, and they'd have certain guidelines, obviously. And, you know, it, obviously it's a lot more, it's a lot better if they don't have guidelines, because they need to do literally whatever they want. You know, I thought it was good. Um, I think I give like a six or something, I don't know. Solid show, good for what it is, but, you know, I'm not a big anime guy. If I liked anime, I'd probably give it a higher rating. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to talk about uh, new videos coming. I think I'm going to do some more verses, uh, maybe including some of those business characters, you know what I'm saying? That would be pretty interesting. Um... But I did that verse, he's Mace Windu vs. Thanos. Never, ever was able to upload it. Disney copyrighted it 25 million times. So, yeah, I can't do that one. I think I'm I'm thinking about doing a Thor vs. Um, Anakin one. Um, which would be interesting. Or Anakin and Obi-Wan vs. The Avengers, but I don't know, I don't know if that's a fair one. Maybe I'll do, like, Yoda and Dooku against the Avengers. That'd be pretty nice, then. Um, I was also thinking about doing a Dooku, what if Dooku betrayed Palpatine video. And it's actually really interesting to think about. I don't have it planned out yet, but I'm going to start writing it eventually. I don't know. I, I want to do a few more videos about Dooku. He's a really interesting character. He's one of my favorite characters. Um, he's up there. Or, you know, more. I want to do some, you know, I want to do a lot of prequel videos, you know, because that's my favorite trilogy, honestly. But, um, so yeah, anyways, like I was saying, uh, uh, oh yeah, the What If Qui-Gon Trained Anakin video, I'm still working on it. I've got the ending of, uh, I don't know. I, right now, if I made a video of it, it'd probably be like four minutes long. So I'm going to do some more writing so I can make it into a full video. And I'll be a part one. I probably won't do a part two for a very long time. So I can do better, you know, editing and stuff. But it's just really difficult. And, uh, it's, it, like, I'm busy, you know, with school and everything and sports. And I got family visiting, so I don't know. And that's a bit more important. Than this channel, but I love this channel. But you know, obviously, I'm not gonna put that much effort into a channel that gets like five views. Uh, I did notice that my most recent video got like 10 views almost, I think, which was actually pretty nice. Uh, that Kathleen Kennedy video, I don't like her anymore after I heard about what she did to George Lucas, but um, I think, yeah, uh, just watch out for new content. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking about making a video about the Jedi and like who is the greatest Jedi ever. I think mean, you guys can guess what I want to say. But I have a few ideas. I do like a list or whatever. I'm gonna have to rewatch the prequels, but yeah. Uh for the back to the Qui Gon Alright, sorry. My voice might have changed but yeah I got interrupted and I they do some things. But oh uh, yeah. So back to what I was saying, right? Anakin what if Anakin was trained by Qui Gon video. Ah <sighs> Hit a bit of a right just blocks me honest um uh, it's difficult to you know what happens because yeah, especially like what characters would choose what especially because you know a lot of them are different in this situation you know you gotta think hey would he choose this well this is what he chose in the original timeline would he choose this in the in the new timeline would he choose that you know but um it's really interesting so far especially the stuff that happens after episode one it's really interesting. Uh, um, but yeah, honestly, I was re-watching really episode two just to, you know, get the feels of what would happen. But uh, I kind of, like, lost. I forgot, like, everything. I just keep, like, I re it one night, and then the next day I was going to write. But I, I think I have to do this instead. I have to re watch it and write at the same time so I get the order of events correct and you know the choice is correct or maybe I'll just make a list of the events and then I'll make like the choices whatever a list and a bit of a description it, it's kind of different uh, um, I don't know maybe you'll read a bit 
a tad bit of it during this. Anyway. Yeah, anyways. Uh, this can be another unedited video because, you know, I don't have a lot of time, like I said. But, uh, yeah. See you guys later. Bye. Oh, and, uh, uh, if you always want me to make a video, just comment it below. Like a verse or something. I don't know. Just, just say it and I'll think about doing it if I want to or not. I don't know. But, yeah, see you guys. <laughs> Bye.